Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading lower as market participants stayed cautious ahead of the US CPI data scheduled to be announced later in the day. Bitcoin dropped below $29,500 mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 1% at 38,870 points. Cryptocurrencies felt the pressure from the US Securities Exchange Commission preparing to file an appeal in the Ripple case and another multi-chain project hit by the exploit has for the dislikes of investors placed renewed uncertainty on the table. Moving on, Coinbase, the largest US crypto exchange, has officially launched its new base blockchain, becoming the first publicly listed company to offer its own distributed networks. Moreover, according to data from L2Beat, Base blockchain's total value logged soared 72% in the past week. However, Base currently holds $147 million in collateral and ranks fifth in the Layer 2 ecosystem. Going forward, US established blockchain firm Ripple recently showed its interest in collaborating with Hong Kong's flourishing ecosystem, including its developers and blockchain investments. Additionally, according to reports, Ripple XRP recorded over 1.2 million daily transactions since the beginning of August. As per on chain data from Masari, Solana has outperformed other chains and has witnessed massive growth recently in terms of its total value locked with a gain of 14% over the course of the previous month. Aptos, the cryptocurrency powering Layer 1 blockchain Aptos network, is up approximately 11.6% since announcing that it will leverage Microsoft's suite of artificial intelligence tools to advance Web3 adoption among banks and financial enterprises. This will enable the Aptos network to access Microsoft's Azure Open AI service to investigate advances in asset tokenization, on-chain payments and central bank digital currencies. Decentralized trading protocol Uniswap has been deployed on BASE, the new Ethereum layer 2 built by US crypto giant Coinbase. BASE is powered by the blockchain scaling solution Optimism and its testnet first launched in February of this year. In an interesting news, MakerDAO, a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized organization on Ethereum blockchain, has recently introduced a feature for creating a new governance token for the Spark Lending Protocol. Spark Protocol is a lending protocol introduced by MakerDAO, which provides DeFi loans using Maker as a direct source of liquidity. US stock futures rose infested looked ahead to a Q infl key inflation reading, which could impact the Federal Reserve's next rate move. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 192 points, S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures rose 0.6% and 0.7% respectively. Bitcoin was trading at $29,523, down 1.1%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 0.6%, trading at $1,849. BNB was down by 1.1% to trade at $241. Solana SOL was down 2% and was trading at $24.5. Cardano's ADA token was down by 0.4% to trade at $0.29. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $12.5, lower 1.3%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 0.2% to trade at $0.69. Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 0.1% at $0.075. Shiba Inu was trading down by 1%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.63, down by 2.2%. Polkadot was down by 1% to trade at $5. Now let's move on to our expert Mr. Yash Gavre for his views on cryptocurrency markets. BTC prices regain control. BTC prices are evenly poised with both bulls and bears trying to rein in control. And the prevailing volatility offers unique opportunity to both the factions. Currently, the bulls seem to have upper hand with prices trying to reclaim the $30,000 mark if we manage to close about that level, which is incidentally the 200-day moving average, BTC can rush to the $30,400 range quickly, maybe this week itself, before a potential drop down to the $27,300 and $26,300 levels. Thank you so much, Mr. Yash, for sharing your views with us. That's all in Coin Monitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worldstv.io or scan the QR code. With 3 Auto TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain. 
Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3Dotto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3Dotto TV delivers the news that matters. Even as Hollywood writers and performers struggle with the employment of this technology in the entertainment sector, Walt Disney has created a task force to investigate the application of artificial intelligence throughout its entertainment empire. According to three sources who spoke to the organization was established earlier this year before the Hollywood writers strike with the goal of developing AI applications internally while also looking to partner with startups. There are currently 11 vacant roles at Disney that require expertise in machine learning or artificial intelligence. As stated in the job description, these positions cover practically every aspect of the business from Walt Disney Studios and the engineering division to the theme parks and Walt Disney Engineering as well as Disney branded television and the advertising team, which aspires to create an AI-powered ad system for the future. GPT-Bot is a new web crawling tool from artificial intelligence company OpenAI that the company claims may be used to enhance future ChatGPT models. According to a new blog post by OpenAI, web pages crawler with the GPT-Bot user agent may potentially be used to improve future models, adding that it might increase the accuracy and capabilities of subsequent iterations. A bot that indexes the content of pages on the internet is known as a web crawler, sometimes known as a web spider. They are used by search engines like Google and Bing so that the websites appear in search results. OpenAI has developed a web crawler that collects publicly available data from the internet but filters out sources with paywalled content, personally identifiable information or violated policies. By including a disallow command in a common server file, website owners can prevent the crawler from accessing their pages. The crawler comes three weeks after OpenAI filed a trademark application for the anticipated successor to the current GPT-4 model. Microsoft plans to launch Bing Chat for third-party browsers on the web and mobile, allowing Safari and Chrome users to use Bing AI Chat. The chat GPT like Bing Chat is being tested in Chrome and Safari for select users. The announcement aims to showcase the value of summarized answers, image creation and more to a broader audience with the Bing team stating that users will receive most of the benefit of Bing and will continue to optimize for different browsers. Bing Chat has facilitated over 1 billion chats and processed 750 million images through the Bing Image Generator, powered by DAL-E. Microsoft aims to onboard more users from desktop and mobile ecosystems by eliminating the need for specific browser installation. The AI-powered Bing Chat has received several new features for its six-month anniversary, including enhanced support for longer conversations and chat history on Edge browser. Microsoft introduced dark mode for Bing Chat and Bing Chat Enterprise on desktop and mobile to reduce power consumption and improve user experience. Multimodal visual search in chats allows users to interact with chatbots using images and prompt questions related to them, such as uploading pictures of the Roman Colosseum or a fridge for breakfast suggestions.